you are probably watching this video because you're sad you miss home you are wondering who sent you message why did you even leave the comfort of your loved ones to a place where you literally know nobody <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your favorite internet sister. Okay, today I'm Blessing Dixon. If this is your first time coming to my channel, you're welcome. You'd love it here. On today's video, we talk about how to cope with long distance relationships, how to cope with homesickness in whatever country you might be in. We've all been there. I understand. It might be stressful sometimes it might be daunting but first thing is you have to think of the bigger picture okay all these feelings the way you're feeling is probably just for it okay no no probably it's just for a while you need to know your why why did you decide to pack up and go to this place where you don't know anybody or let's say you are even thinking of doing it probably you've not done it yet it's still a oh should i do it should i not do it type of thing Think of why you want to do it like would it pay off in the end are you doing this to make your life better eventually thank god for this era of technology you could literally talk to your people your person every day even if you guys don't like talk over the phone via video call or voice call you guys could literally text every day and just text with someone to know how they are doing could brighten up your day like one million times if you are in a long distance relationship with somebody there should be no reason why you guys don't talk every day like what's the reason don't tell me that you are too busy or something i know yeah you, yeah people get busy but you could just drop a text like it doesn't have to be voice call or anything and i mean if the other person forgets to text you need to text the person right it just helps to like foster the relationship and your long distance friends try to keep in touch try to call them once in a while to see their faces to hear from them it helps you it's really really help you and times where you feel homesick you could just another thing is before you travel that's if you've not traveled try to make so many memories you you would need it to help you through times where you feel like oh i actually miss this person you could go back to your gallery to look at these pictures and another thing is i don't know if it's in if it's everywhere but having photo shoots in the us is not as affordable and it's not as affordable as having photo shoots back in nigeria if there was something i could change before traveling to be honest i'll take so many pictures i will do photo shoots i'll call a photographer i will make myself up i'll take photo shoots with my best friend with my family of myself i'll just like just take pictures if i come to nigeria you people already know what i'm gonna do i'm just going to be snapping picture because it helps one thing i feel like you can never take back is time you can never get time back you're growing older so it's like that you, it's like you just you froze that moment in time the time when you took that picture like oh i was doing this at some point even my youtube video it's like me making these videos i mean aside from giving you guys quality information it's a way of like documenting my growth because i could go back to it i mean going back to the first youtube video i made I saw the growth. I'm like, hmm, okay. I was more shy. Now I'm a bit more comfortable talking to the camera. Because there, I was more quiet. You think I cannot eat a bar. <laughs> I was like, now, I'm more comfortable. I'm full. I don't know why I eat like a rat. <laughs> oh, God. I remember why I was complaining about Michigan last year. I totally forgot why. Guys, this place is so cold. Michigan is so cold. Anyway, you also need to keep into consideration while you're keeping in touch with friends and family back home. Don't forget the people around you. Because where you currently are, you also need to keep in touch with people. If you're an introvert like me, 
you might like staying inside but it shouldn't stop you from talking to people make time to go out see all this this thing going out is not that expensive you might see people say oh outside is expensive it's really not if you are intentional about going out going to the cinema to see a movie you could plan a movie date with a friend you go to the cinema you watch a movie you eat popcorn you are happy if you don't plan a if you okay if maybe as a student you are um it's not really comfortable for you to go to the cinema or to go on like a food date with your friend you guys could plan a movie date in your house right it could just be oh i'll come to your house today you cook you do the cooking and then you guys could come you guys could even buy the microwavable popcorn microwave your popcorn sit down eat and that is that's really really going to make your day you'd love it you create memories with somebody and it's fun you could have fun activities to do if you feel i know when people feel sad it's very very hard to get them to do some things but drag yourself out of bed because you would never know until you actually do it that oh i actually needed this thing to boost my endorphins so and another thing you want to do is become active you could start going to the gym most schools have gyms if you're in a school your apartment could also have a gym you could start going to the gym at least three times in a week not only will your body thank you for it your mind your mental state will thank you for it i remember when i got here newly i literally used to go to the gym five times a week Mm, my apartment has a gym and that's where I used to go but now I'm going to my school gym because my school's gym is bigger it's, it has more things and I have a free membership to my school gym so I'm no longer going to my apartment gym <clears throat> but I remember then when I used to go it's like when you are running on the treadmill like different ideas just start coming for me, for me. it could be like business ideas because I like business Different things are like, oh, I could do this differently. I could actually, mm, how about I do this? How about this one, this one? Let me call this person. Or your 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 life just start aligning. Oh, yeah, working out at the gym. It's so helpful. So that's why when you see people that say, oh, the gym helps with my mental health, it does help. And aside the physical struggle you are doing at the gym, after a while, you start looking at yourself in the mirror and you're like, damn, oh, is this me? Is this me? And it just boosts, it just boosts your confidence, it just makes you so happy and you want to continue going back there. So, I definitely recommend you doing that. And I remember also recommending, recommending this to someone very, very close to me to do back then. And it really, really helped. Like, it really helped. It was a, such a game changer. And of course, the physique, the body was giving, okay? So you also want to try this. And we also want to know that you're in a place where you literally know nobody. So if I saw this video of a girl crying online. Oh, don't tell you about moving to Canada. I feel so alone. <laughs> and I remember sending it to a friend I um, made here. We attend the same church. And I sent it to her and she was like, blessing, that even not for church in this place. Say, no be so everybody condition for be. Go to a good church. Go to a good church. And when you go to a good church, okay, let's even say maybe the church you go to, people don't talk to each other. Everybody minds their business. If you are the one looking to talk to people, if you need the company, like if, because I mean, there are people that literally can stay on their own and they will not bother. They won't care. Nothing will happen. But if you are someone that likes people, you like people in your space, you like talking to people, you have to go to them. Or if it is not, okay, let's even say maybe your church, you don't have people that are your age mates or something. Even if you say mother, hmm, a mommy. <laughs> And you really, really want that company, you could go to her like, oh, ma'am, are you doing anything? Start conversations, okay? Like, are you doing anything this weekend? Would you like me to come around to assist you or something? And just like that, you already have somebody to be talking to. You get me. 
and you have people that will check up on you you have people that will be like oh um okay let me say my mary mary how are you we didn't see you last week you just have people that actually care about you eventually mm -hmm. so start making that conversation and then aside that if you want to be close to people in school you have to talk to people you have to put in the efforts most people here would not like most people in school would not want to become so close like you guys could talk but it's like most people always mind their business right but if you really 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 want it make the efforts open your mouth and talk check up on the person because most times usually after school nobody conversates with anybody like we could talk based on school based on i need this or how did you how are you looking to do this course do you want us to read together but it's like most times after school people tend not to um keep in contact but if you want the relationship definitely keep in contact then also aggressively work on growing yourself aggressively pour into yourself i have this thing where um i try to do better i try not to be where i was last year i just always have this thing of i want to i want to move not move like physical like move physically but it's like i want to do better i want to be better than i was last year because the competition is with you you are trying to get better for you so always 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 <clears throat> tell yourself that okay this is why i came into this and this is why i'm going to stick to it i remember my friend said something it was like oh blessing um let's just take it one step at a time at that point it just made so much sense like okay yeah we should actually take it one step at a time so it's like do what you are supposed to do and don't kill yourself don't beat yourself up if it seems like it's taking too long write out whatever it is write out the steps you need to take write out what you've done so far where you are going so now i feel like my thoughts is just all over the place but you guys you're getting the gist right write out the steps i'll be like okay this is what i've done so far this is what i need to do to be where i need to be at and this is how much work i need to put in still just tell yourself i will get there eventually like this particular thing i'm trying to do i will do it even though it seems like it's taking forever <laughs> and have like-minded people please if you need to take a break off of social media so you could really really pour into yourself if you need to read so much do whatever you need to do to succeed and come back stunning like the superstar that you are definitely take that break instagram is not even what it's at the end of the day what matters is you you my sister you my brother please if you have the opportunity to definitely do this before you come become a perfect driver before you travel to any states you want to travel to also have like an hands-on skill i'm a really good baker but i stopped baking before i came to the u.s because baking is really stressful and i am doing a really really stressful thing right now in school so i i really don't want to combine it so i know which one deserves or I know which one to pour the most into and I'm going to pour into my education. Don't put your leg into what you don't what you don't see as sustainable. Please if you've watched this video to this extent, click the subscribe button. It should be it should be by this side, down here or down here, I don't know. But subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like my video, share, please, please. I'm really really trying to get monetized this year so help me help me and help me get to thousand subscribers help me tell your friends and family to subscribe okay let's continue with our video i hope this video would help you navigate your relationships starting from today keep in contact with people if you feel like your friends i don't know maybe you might feel like oh but this person is not reaching out to me you reach out to the person if i mean if you need that relationship that bond you feel like oh we don't talk enough reach out to the person okay and don't just wallow in sorrow go out buy yourself stuff 
like it doesn't even have to be so much it could just be flowers you know just things to just brighten up your space invest in good fragrance and i'm saying like room fragrance you could go to bath and body works god their wall socket is amazing it smells so good make your space very very comfortable that when you are when you come home you just want to you know relax smell the beautiful space just just do things to make yourself happy your internet sister is sending you a big hug okay and when you get bored of course open my youtube channel and just imagine you and i are having a conversation so that it keeps you company hmm? i'll put out more videos so that you'll be able to keep on watching my videos and if you get so bored send a message to your internet sister and i'm going to respond okay you can text me on instagram my instagram handle i'll probably attach it to this video or you could see it on my bio okay thank you for watching my video like share subscribe have a lovely rest of your day or no scroll to another video i made and watch it okay so that i won't leave you alone bye bye